Here this morning at a river that I haven't been to in a long time. I haven't been to any river actually in a while, but I hadn't been to this river in years. But anyway, I'm surprised there's nobody here this morning. It's going to be a great day to be out on the water. It's going to be a scorcher today. Heat index, I believe they say, is going to be 108. But anyway, like I said, here at a river I haven't been to in quite some time. And the water is, I believe, the highest it's ever been when I've been here. It's rushing pretty good. It looks like a lot of the rocks that I normally see uncovered are covered right now. So, should be an interesting day. Let's see what we can get on here. Whoo, that water is cold, I'll tell you that. Like I was saying, though, it should be good for the hot day we have ahead of us here. I'm gonna start out throwing a top water like I almost always do. Yeah, this water is definitely rushing a lot faster than I ever remember it before, so should make the day interesting. Might make a the eddies and stuff even more important than usual might not want to be out here fighting this current very much at all so little eddies even like this up here shallow bays they'll get up in that stuff too First legitimate bite of the day on the little smash tail minnow, whopper plopper knockoff. Don't know why I missed him, he hit it pretty good. that one. A little gar right here. If I touch on my paddle. <laughs> I did touch on my paddle. That's crazy. Don't know what he was doing coming to look right at me. There's one. Little feller. Just a little filler. One little smash tail minnow. Not what we're looking for, but it's a start, I guess. Oh, golly, that was a good one there. Gosh, that was a good fish for sure. 
That one had some depth to it when he blew up on it. Golly. Did a little re-rigging there, just switched up top waters. I put a whopper plopper on instead of that smash tail minnow. I was missing a few on that. And I like the sound of this whopper plopper a little better anyway. So decided to put that whopper plopper on instead of that smash tail. And then I've got a smaller swim bait tied on than I had. And then I've got this tiny little Ned Rig crawl now on my spinning rod instead of that little pocket frog. So, see if any of these adjustments can render us some fish. Body. Followed it up and ate it right there in front of me. As I was reeling it up to make another cast. Tiny little guad. Pretty fish, but not what we're looking for. Oh, dang it. Oh, crap. A nice fish right there. I think that's the one that just had my bait. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No, come back. Golly. That was a nice blow up. I don't think it's that good of a fish though. I think it's just a a little wad right in the current. God. Yep, just a little guaddy on the whopper plopper. That was a nice blow up from that little fish. Pretty little guad. Blew it up nice right in the middle of that current. I could tell that was a smaller fish though. It didn't have the the deep whoosh that that one good one did. Gosh, I'm still really wishing I had that one back now. A few bites as I've gotten today. Really need to capitalize on every bite I get. Fish. Feels like another little guadi, probably. Yep, just a little guad. Not what we're looking for today. If I had my nephew with me, like I was supposed to, and he was catching those, it'd be a different story. That'd be all right, but not the kind of fish I'm after on a solo trip. Oh 
no. Come on, fish, eat it again. Golly. I was reeling it up. Saw a fish shoot out there. I dropped it to him and he ate it and then I missed him. And then my bait balled up and he wouldn't come back to it because it was all balled up, didn't look like a worm anymore, but gosh. Can't believe I missed that fish. That was a decent one too. Golly. Just shot out right here. Oh. <laughs> Got him. There's one. And there's another one sitting down there, a little bit bigger, too. Pretty little guads. Can't believe this is what it's come down to catching but this is it oh no there was the other one did you get my bait yep got my bait dang it what the what wow I literally just got my bait off my rod and dropped it in the water. And this little Guadalupe bass ate it right there. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna give this bait a couple of chunks, I'll tell you that. Spitting up those teeny tiny little bait fish they're eating. See, they're eating teeny, teeny, tiny little bait fish. I'm wondering if all the big ones are doing that too. That's why they're so difficult to catch. I don't know. Well, it's about time to start heading back, so better turn around, get this show on the road. I've got quite the paddle against the current. I've got my little uh, Ned rig with a little creature bait for my plastic on the way back. I've got a little popper tied on for my top water now. And then when I get over to that deeper, clearer water with all the boulders and stuff, I'm gonna throw that rattle trap around a little bit where I saw all those tiny bait fish and see if I can get some schooling on those little bait fish or something out there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little backwater I didn't fish on the way here. Oh! <laughs> here we go. That was a nice blow up from that little dude right there. Decent wad actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Blew that popper up in that little pocket. I was just saying, I'm fishing this little backwater deal here that I didn't fish on the way down the first time. There's a decent little Guadalupe. That was fun. I'm not going to catch any big largemouth like I was hoping for, I guess. That's a good little consolation prize. Decent quad that just blew up the pop R. Thank you for playing, little buddy. Oh, wow, that was wild. What do I have here? Is this a gar? Yep, it's a freaking gar. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get my bait back. That was crazy. He jumped nuts on the bite. I don't know how I'm going to get my 
my bait back. I've actually never had to deal with a gar before. This should be interesting. I don't want to grab onto him. I don't want to get hooked. There we go. Okay. That worked out about as good as it could, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. The sign says no hunting or fishing without landowner consent. The hunting, sure, you can't go up on their land, but fishing, I'd like to see them try to enforce that one. <laughs> That's funny. Well, we're almost back to the truck here, so it looks like that's probably going to be it for the day unless I can pull out a miracle bite here in the next few minutes, but that was definitely not the day I was looking for. The reason I was talking about, I was surprised there was nobody here this morning when I got here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that whole freaking roadway is now pretty much lined with cars. It's a very popular swimming spot. It used to be a good, real good fishing spot two years ago. I wonder if it's dropped off or if today was just a weird day. I don't know.